Good afternoon. The white coat ceremony for the class of 2012 of Tufts University School of Medicine will now be in order. The assembly will remain, uh, will please rise for the invocation, which will be offered by Reverend David O'Leary, the university chaplain. That's not a procedure. It's not an elbow in room number two. It's a person who is loved by another person. It's a family member who's dependent on that loved one's care that's being entrusted. May this day of beginnings and endings, symbolized in the white coat, lead us to realize how much more we need one another. But we cannot do it on our own. Let us all know that the wearers of the white coats need one another. And we ask your help for this day forward that these practitioners of the arts of healing be your instruments of healing in the world. Amen. Amen. It's so nice to have all of you here today to mark a very special moment in the lives of our medical students. The white coat ceremony is a wonderful tradition, but it's a young one. Commencement ceremonies go back centuries. The Hippocratic Oath is a couple of thousand years old, but this is only the twelfth white coat ceremony at Tufts. I'm thrilled to see that all of you are here celebrating and supporting our students as they embark on their exciting but arduous course of training. We're here to mark the induction of these doctors in training into the medical profession. To our students, this is the moment you are being given the most important privilege of the profession, the trust of your patients. At Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons, and the first white coat ceremony was held at Columbia in 1993, Dr. Gold and his wife Sandra administered the Arnold P. Gold Foundation, and this foundation is dedicated to fostering humanism and compassion in medicine. There's also a sense of urgency, and there are many, many expectations, some that you hold for yourself, some that others hold for you, many that the society that you're about to serve expect of you. The expectations that you hold for yourself in this path are one of focus, one of discipline, and somewhere in you has come a calling. Many of you perhaps have reflected on where the calling com comes from. In fact, there's very little empiric evidence about what makes any one of us want to come into this profession and become physicians. But nonetheless, you've been called to a guild of healers. And somewhere in your own psyche, with the grace of time, you will come to know from where this calling has emerged. The sooner you begin to reflect on this and understand your motivations, the better your judgment will be in finding your path within this vast, complex, and ever-expanding field of medicine. What, we will, what you will find is that over the course of the years to come, be they in med school, in residency, or in your medical career, there will be countless occasions for you to take action to make judgments, and to move through doors where you will find ways to transform yourself, your patients, the field, and your communities. 